Hi everyone. Today we are going to show you the beauty of mathematics. On your screen, you can see an amazing circle of numbers from 1 to 32 without a repeat. The beauty is that the sum of any two adjacent numbers is a perfect square. For instance, if I add 4 and 32, I get 36, which is the square of the number 6. If I add the numbers 3 and 13, I get 16, which is 4 square. If I add 25 and 11, I again get 36, which is 6 square. If I add 18 and 7, I get 25, which is the square of 5. Adding 27 and 22, I get the number 49, which is the square of 7. Adding 10 and 15 gives me the square of 5 again. So essentially, for any two adjacent numbers that you pick, their sum will be a square and that's the beauty of this puzzle, this arrangement of 32 numbers. But today's video is not only about introducing this circle, but about decoding this string of 32 numbers as well and building it from scratch. And I'm going to illustrate how to solve this beautiful logical puzzle to all of you. So without wasting further time, let's begin. So in this circular arrangement of 32 numbers, we know that the sum of adjacent numbers is a special one. It's a perfect square. So let's think along those lines. Maximum possible sum of adjacent numbers is equal to 32 plus 31, where 32 is the largest number and 31 is the second largest number. So maximum possible sum is 63. And because this sum has to be a perfect square, let's look at the perfect squares in this range. They are 4, 9, 16, 25, 36 and 49. Remember, the perfect square 64 is not allowed as it exceeds the maximum possible sum of 63. And because the arrangement of these 32 numbers is around a circle, we can start and end at any number to account for rotational variance. So let us pick the number, say the last of these numbers, which is 32 and try to see the two numbers that it is sandwiched between. So for a moment, I have hidden the two numbers before and after 32. Let us see how we calculate them. Pay attention. A plus 32 has to be a perfect square and 32 plus B also has to be a perfect square. Now, the only perfect squares greater than 32 in the permissible range are 36 and 49, isn't it? So let us take the value of a plus 32 is equal to 36 and we get a is equal to 4. And let us take the value of 32 plus b is equal to 49. This will give us b is equal to 17. So the two numbers between which 32 is sandwiched are 4 and 17. You can verify this from our original circle. Similarly, and I will make a very, very important point here. For all numbers in the range 25 to 32, the only perfect squares greater than the number itself would be 36 or 49. So in a similar calculation, if I want to see the two numbers before and after 29, Needless to remind you that the only perfect squares greater than 29 are 36 and 49. I take a plus 29 is equal to 36. This gives me a is equal to 7. And 29 plus b is equal to 49. This gives me b is equal to 20. So the triplet 7, 29 and 20 certainly finds a place in this circle. You can verify that. And as I already mentioned, for all numbers from 25 to 32, we can find the two numbers which come before and after using the same procedure for calculations. 
25 to 32 is a set of 8 numbers. For each of these numbers from 25 to 32, I get a triplet which finds its place in the circle. But another interesting thing to note is that the numbers 25 to 32, green circles, the numbers 17 to 24, blue circles, and the numbers 4 to 11, orange circles, these 24 numbers have already reserved a position on our circle of 32. Do you want to confirm what I just said? Okay, let us highlight each triplet on this original circle of 32 numbers. 4, 32, 17, 19, 36, 24, 25, 11. 5, 31, 18, 20, 29, 7, 22, 27, 9, 23, 26, 10, and the last one, 8, 28, 21. So in short, there are 24 numbers from 1 to 32, which have already found a place on the circle. What are the missing numbers? Well, the missing numbers not yet accounted for, are the numbers 1, 2 and 3 and thereafter 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. Out of these missing numbers, I find 16 quite interesting. 16 is half of 32. So let us try to see the two numbers before and after 16, shall we? So when we add another number in 16, the perfect square can be either 25 or else 36. 9 plus 16 is 25. So before 16 comes 9. And 16 plus 20 is 36. So after 16 comes 20. We have just calculated a very, very important triplet on our circle. 9, 16 and 20. See, there it is. Now I will hide my original circle again because now I'm going to show you how to string together these 32 numbers in a loop. Did you notice that in our last triplet 9, 16 and 20, the numbers 9 and 20 got repeated from our earlier 8 triplets. So let us keep 9, 16 and 20 in the middle of our string. The number 9 is common here in the triplet 9, 27, 22. So we extend this string to the left. And the number 20 is common here in the triplet 7, 29 and 20. So we extend this string to the right as well. Now on the left, a square greater than 22 could be 25. So the next number could be 3. Or else, another square greater than 22 could be 36. So the next number could be 14. There are two branches possible. On the right, a square greater than 7 could be 9. So we can have a number 2. Another the square is 16. So we can have a number 9. But wait a second. I can already see number 9 here. So this possibility is ruled out because 9 gets repeated. Another square could be 25. So we can have the number 18 here. Another possible square is 36. But that gives us the next number as 29. 29 is already there in this string. So we ignore this possibility as well. Similarly, let us work on another string simultaneously. I will pick the triplet 4, 32 and 17 because 4 is a lucky number. On the left of the string, we can have numbers like 5 or 12 or 21. And towards the right of the string, we can have numbers like 8 or 19. Now onwards, I am going to follow only one rule. While extending the strings in either direction, let us choose the branch where we can fit in one of the known triplets. One of the nine known triplets, remember? So look at the first string and extend it to the right. I will choose the branch that has 18. 
because 18, 31 and 5 is a known triplet. For our second string, extending it to the right, I will choose the branch 19 because 19, 30 and 6 is a known triplet. Extending it to the left, I will choose the branch 21 because 21, 28 and 8 is a known triplet. Now look at the number 8. Perfect squares greater than 8 are the number 9, 16 and 25. Accordingly, we can have 1 or 8 or 17 to the left. But the number 8 can't be repeated. So let's cross out that possibility. And the number 17 already finds a place in this string. So it can't be repeated again. That possibility is also closed. That means the only logical extension to the left is number 1. Before 8 comes number 1. Wow, that's amazing. Similarly, let's draw out branching possibilities for all ends of these two strings. And let me remind you, while extending the strings in either direction, Let's choose the branch where we can fit in one of the known triplets. So to the right of 5, we need to have the number 11. 11 can be followed by 14 or by 25. So we choose 25. Look at the triplet 11, 25, 24. So we add 24 beyond 25. 24 can be followed by 12 or by 1. Let me choose 12 here. 12 can be followed by 4 or by the number 13. But guys, 4 is already used up. So we will add the number 13 here. I would say this is very good progress on the two strings. I already have 15 numbers in the first string and 10 numbers in the second string. Let us focus on 13. 13 can be followed by 3 or by 23. So let's pick 23 because 23, 26 and 10 is the only triplet that is remaining. Okay. Wow. Now we have 18 plus 10. 28 numbers that have been accounted for. 28 numbers accounted for, only 4 more numbers to go. Over here, 10 can be followed by 6 or by 15. Let me choose 15. And 15 can be followed only by 1 or 21. But 21 we see right in the middle of this string, so it's not possible. 15 will be followed by 1. And 1 is already the starting point of our second string. So let us join these two strings at these two ends. Join the numbers 15 and 1. Now I have 29 numbers accounted for already. Can you now take a pause and tell me the three missing numbers? Well, they are the numbers 3, 2 and 14. To the right of number 6, we have to cross out the possibility 10. Because 10 now has its place in the first string. Now I can see 6 has to be followed by the number 3. Now 3, the last number in the string, can be followed only by 13. See for yourself, all the other possibilities are ruled out. So that's it. Let me string together the B's 3 and 13. Our string gets broken at this point. And now, technically, 23 is the first number of this string. 23 can be followed by the number 2 and the number 2 by the number 14. That means we have already cracked the code and looped together 32 numbers in one continuous string. Let me draw out this string for you. And this is our original circle. You may verify the order of our numbers. So that brings us to the end of this beautiful logical puzzle of mathematics that truly racked our brains.
you enjoyed this math lesson and found it useful, don't forget to press the like button and also do share the knowledge with your friends and colleagues. Here is a glimpse of other popular maths videos on our channel. Keep watching and take care. Bye-bye.